Please welcome to the stage Nick Daggers with the 1833 group. Hello, everybody. I'm going to talk about everybody's favorite topic, campaign fundraising. 2018, we saw the blue wave coming, but what fueled the wave? What, what allowed the wave to get to unprecedented heights? How did Democrats win seats in Kansas, Oklahoma, flip four seats in Orange County, where Democrats have never won, and two right here in the suburbs of Chicago? The answer is simple, money. While demographic changes and a new level of enthusiasm helped fuel the wave, the turned in, what turned it into a tsunami was money. Money from super PACs, money from small dollar activists who were inspired by the Women's March and the energy in the energy of those that saw the danger that our nation is facing in the era of Trump. I'm gonna tell you how the influx of money redesigned 2018. Trump has inspired a new generation of activists, a generation of young candidates who have worked in the public and private sectors. Those candidates chose to run in Republican districts where we never thought we could have a chance, and through some Herculean efforts, helped flip the House in 2018. Let's start by looking at 32-year-old Obama administration alum. <laughs> Apparently, uh, Congresswoman Underwood has some fans in this room. Uh, her campaign was able to raise $4.7 million. In addition to that, she was supported by over $4.8 million, or $4.9 million from outside groups that either supported her or opposed her opponent. The total spending was nearly $10 million and helped propel her to victory last fall. In the three previous election cycles, the Democratic nominee and outside groups spent a total of $180,000. Money made the difference. We saw the same story in Illinois' 6th District. Sean has a few fewer fans than Lauren, I guess. <laughs> Where Sean Kasten defeated Peter Roskam Sean's campaign was able to raise $6.1 million and was aided by another $6 million from outside groups, spending over $12 million. That's comparative to the $500,000 that was spent in 2012, 2014, and 2016. What was the secret sauce that Democrats used in 2018 to win back the House and raise these record sums of money? First, we saw a new crop of candidates who took fundraising seriously from day one of their campaigns. Secondly, we saw a huge influx of low-dollar contributions. A quarter of what Lauren Underwood was able to raise came from unitemized contributions of under $200 in total. She also, was able to have, she also had over 3,000 contributions that were less than $200 in her itemized contributions. Finally, those strong fundraising halls, coupled with optimistic polling trends, opened the door for progressive super PACs to come in, reinforce the message, and provide a strong finish for our candidates. Money redesigned the 2018 landscape and will undoubtedly play a major role in how things shape out in 2020. Thank you.